Over 400 women in Alimosha area of Lagos State have received free digital training to scale their business. These form part of the Financial Literacy and Inclusion Program organized by the She Enabled Project in collaboration with Google. Justin Akadonye tells us more. Women in Nigeria are highly interested in becoming entrepreneurs, but face unique challenges, including access to financial and business development services, as well as information that are critical to formalizing and growing their businesses. We need to help she enabled is a financial and digital inclusion project by the Ego Foundation, which seeks to empower women and girls living in underserved communities in Nigeria. Toluashe Olaniyo is executive director. He speaks alongside others. It's, um, designed to um, support women, uh, particularly women at the grassroots, um, to help them in terms of deepening their financial um, literacy. Uh, financial knowledge and also deepening their digital knowledge. If we have good education, if we have the same training the men do in terms of from primary education, teach them, teach them digitalization, teach them digital transformation, how to move your business, how to scale up. And now with what's going on everywhere, you need to scale up. They have to create more methods to be able to help them understand why it's necessary to have some certain things in place and how those things can be beneficial to them. So for financial institutions, microfinance banks, insurance companies, the regular cluster, they need to be able to change the way they interact, document, and how they promote their um, knowledge or disseminate information so that these people can actually benefit. The She Enabled Project addresses the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 1, 3, and 5, targeting unemployed females living below $2 per day. Some of the participants share concerns and opportunities. There are so many challenges out there, like one, though we are in digital world now, so visibility is part of it. Then secondly, at times financial support. The benefits are actually limitless because we are people from different categories of businesses. We do different things. I don't know when I'll need someone's services. So I feel that events like this will help us meet people outside of our own niche. The major problem is, is the same problem that, we're, that we have always had, right? And we, 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 we all we need to continually um, re-emphasize it that, um, I mean, a lot of them feel um, that it's not needed for them as such because they feel that the home is built around the man. According to Global Entrepreneurship Monitor, Nigeria has the highest number of women entrepreneurs in the world. This high level of women's participation in entrepreneurship has been found out to be necessity-driven.